Hey Ed, I have uh, to finish a couple of things in order to get this um, this uh, uh, webinar all set up for uh, an hour from now. So can you drive mm -hmm. the meeting? I certainly can. Cool. And I'll see if I can find a link for it as well so we can tell people where to find it if they are interested in showing up. That would be very, very good because I would actually like to come along for that as well. Yeah, we're supposed to have um, Bobby there as well. Um, I was having a little bit of trouble getting a hold of him this um, uh, uh, past couple of days. So, hoping things are okay. He's usually on par with, or not on par, he's usually very responsive to things. So, I think a lot of people took a longer weekend this weekend. I know, like, you know, the one of the things that this has been publicized is that uh, Cisco basically told everyone to take Friday off. Uh, to recharge. And so between that and Monday, it's been a nice long weekend. Yeah, that's what I figure probably happened. So. Yeah. So, all right, cool. So uh, for folks who are perhaps watching the video, uh, these usually we start about five minutes after. Um, I've put the link in the chat. If folks could go, please add themselves to the participants list on the meeting minutes, that would be great. Uh, and do keep in mind, these meetings are recorded and they will be posted to YouTube. Um, also keep in mind that, um, oh, also if there's anyone on the call who would be willing to share the agenda, that would be most appreciated. I posted the link both in the chat and on the agenda as well. Fantastic. So we'll probably get going in a couple in about a minute here. Uh, there's a link in the uh, chat for uh, the meeting minutes. So if folks could add themselves as attendees on the agenda, that would be fantastic. And if someone would be willing to share the agenda, that would be also great. Okay, so let's go ahead and get going. Can everyone see the agenda? Yes. Fantastic. So, and there should be a link in the chat. Please do go at yourselves the attendees. Um, so we got sort of our normal standing agenda. Um, 
So I want to draw your attention to some recurring events, um, not you know that, that go out in addition to the normal network service mesh meetings. Uh, so you know our network service mesh meetings do happen um, every week on Tuesday. We've got a issue PR meeting that happens at 7:30 a.m. Pacific time, um, and then we have this meeting. That's the community meeting that happens um, at 8 a.m. Pacific time. Um, are we still running uh, China friendly meetings? Does anyone know? I haven't been joining for the last month or so, so I don't know. Okay. Okay. All right. And then in addition to that, we have some recurring meetings. Um, the CNCF Telecom User Group um, meets on the first and third Mondays of every month. Uh, and then CNCF SIG Network um, meets the first and third uh, Thursday of every month at 11 a.m. Pacific. And so those are also good things for folks to attend. So um, moving on to major events. <clears throat> so KubeCon China has been canceled. Um, we do have Cloud Native Zero, um, which is going on literally today at the end of the at top of the hour. And we have a link here to that webinar um, where our very own Frederick and you know Bobby will be talking about zero trust-based authentication with Spiffy Inspire and NSM at OPA, which is very exciting. Um, we've got uh, the KubeCon Cloud Native Europe that will be happening on the 17th of the 20th. Uh, and that will include the NSMCon uh, EU. That event will be happening uh, as a co-located event. I need to go track down the events people to get all the details about the virtual event, but it will definitely be happening. Um, awesome. So the ONES is also occurring September 28th through 29th. Uh, they're hoping to, in you know, I don't think that's actually happening in Los Angeles. I think it's, well, actually, it's currently on the schedule in Los Angeles. Um, they've not yet announced going virtual, so they may not. Um, OENES Europe has been postponed. Um, CloudCon Cloud Native North America is still scheduled for Boston. And that CFP is currently open. It closes June 12th. So I would strongly urge folks to get network service mesh related clocks in. We did very well with KubeCon Europe in terms of folks getting their NSM talks in. So it would be very good to get a whole full raft of them here as well. Um, and that is what I've got here for events. Are there other events folks would like to draw attention to? Uh, just a quick uh, update. Actually, the China event is, uh, is, is virtual now. It's not canceled. It's, it's canceled this physical event, but it's going to be a virtual. Ah. Uh. Would you be willing to, to fill in some of those details in the agenda for next time? Uh, yeah, I will. Many thanks. Cool. Um, so do we have anyone here from our social media team? Okay, I do note that we, they did update for today. So uh, we're now up to 762 followers, plus one from last week. Uh, 2302 following, plus five from last week and 1,300 tweets or retweets, plus 15 from last week. Uh, so we had um, call reminders that went out on Twitter and other social media. Last week's video recap um, from the meetings, the CNCF weekly webinars, um, various of other events, and um, some general things around networking and that were being retweeted. And then for LinkedIn stats, we're up to 162 following, plus four from last week. We got a link to bandwagon a little bit later, and the content is the same as the original Twitter content. Uh, and then the current plan is retweets, contributor podcast, and the various NSM uh, Con EU 2020 to promote registration, prospectus, etc. Awesome. Anything else on the social media stuff? Cool. So um, I want to draw folks' attention to the fact that we now have our annual review document up for network service mesh. So um, this is something that as a CNCF sandbox project we do annually. And so this has been posted up for review. It has a bunch about the progress we've made in the last year. I would actually strongly recommend that folks go take a look because I was actually kind of shocked at how much we've accomplished in the last year and I've been here for it. Um, and so you can go take a look at that document. Um, and again, any suggestions for improvements as with any PR are very much welcome. 
Um, cool. So additionally, there's a uh, discussion going on in the VL3 spec that's starting to veer into the direction of IPAM. So this is a document I think we've, we've talked about before. Do you want to go ahead and, and talk a little bit about the IPAM stuff uh, that you've added here, Denise? Oh, yes, I just put uh, ideas uh, on how we can implement uh, IPAM uh, for the first step. So uh, please take a look. Uh, any comments are welcome. Yep, and, and, and just to be clear, this would just be the IPAM for the VL3 network service endpoint. Uh, in network service mesh, IPAM comes from the network service endpoints. And so they can do it however makes sense to them. But we do need to sort of solve this problem for the virtual layer three NSE that's being built. Um, and so we definitely wanted to get uh, some broader discussion here of how to approach the problem. And I know we've, we've got a bunch of folks in the community who have sort of broad experience with these things. So it's always good to get uh, you know experienced hands involved with part of the discussion. Cool. Any other questions on that discussion? I will. And then the, the, the last thing I wanted to draw attention to, and, and certainly I'm, I'm interested in other folks, people are, things people are interested in is, um, there's a discussion that's starting up around the registry API and perhaps simplifying it um, going forward. Uh, we've sort of been stubbing our toes on some of its over complexity as we've been going. And so there's a whole discussion around that that's occurring right now. And again, this is one of those things where the more voices involved, the better. And so it would be really, really helpful if you if you got some interest in this, please go ahead and get involved. Cool. Uh, anything else that folks would like to add to the agenda? So it, it, it's, I think a little bit of a light week because we've, we've, there's been a long weekend here and, um, but okay, cool. So if, is there anything else that folks would like to discuss before we conclude today? Otherwise I'm inclined to yield back the time. All right, excellent. Uh, thank you all for coming and we'll see you next week. Bye.